Severe storms that tore through our area yesterday are still causing some trouble for many this morning from flooded roads to power outages to a big cleanup needed today. Matt Gregory joins us now from Fauquier County, Virginia, where thousands of people are still without power. Matt, you're in Warrington. Uh, understand there was a lot of damage there to see this morning. Yeah, Tony, on our way out here on taking Lee Highway 29 to Warrington Lakes, that's the neighborhood we're in right now, I saw debris on the sides of the road, and like you were just talking about, we saw ponding and a little bit of flooding on the side of the road as well, but this is what we're seeing in this neighborhood. As you can see, we've got debris over here, trees snapped over in half in this uh, particular yard over here. You move over to this yard, same thing in this, a front yard. You can see that the power of these storms last night, while, you know, really uh, isolated to areas west of D.C. and the western parts of northern Virginia still had a quite an impact. Trees knocked over uh, and branches snapped off over here. And this is sort of what it looked like all the way into this neighborhood, Warrington Lakes. And then here's the big deal over here. If you come with me uh, in this area right here, Westmoreland Drive and Lancaster Drive, right at the corner, you can see two large trees in the front yard. One snapped off completely. Look at that. You can see there's already been some work done by clues crews to clean that up rather. And then as we kind of go over here, the sheer force of the wind pushed this tree right on top of this house. Um, we're seeing power on some houses here, some still without power in this neighborhood. So Dominion Energy was still working on that. But, you know, the sheer force of the wind last night, knocking trees over, damaging this home right here. Heavy downpour causing some flooding in the ways out here, and we've still got debris and cleanup happening here in Fauquier County. And there are portions of Lee Highway that have been shut down because of debris. Crews are out trying to clean those up right now. But you can see while the majority of the storms were west of D.C. and west of uh, the immediate northern Virginia area, the amount of damage done very much, um, you know, pockets of destruction like we're seeing here. So in this particular neighborhood, Warrington Lakes, you can see there's a little bit of debris everywhere and uh, a cleanup this morning is going to take quite a bit of time, but that's what we're seeing in terms of storm damage. After the show ends, we're still going to be going around Fauquier County looking for more damage and trying to bring you what happened overnight as those severe storms roll through the DMV. But for now in Warrington, I'm Matt Gregory. Back to you.